I'm here with Ava, a Give It A Try participant from Dublin. So Ava, what do you like about Give It A Try? You can give it a try and you don't have to commit to it and you can bring your friends along to see that they like it too. Well done Ava, that sounds great. We are going to interview some of the stars of the Irish rugby team. Are you ready Ava? Yeah. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm going to ask you all this very first question. So, what age did you first get involved in rugby? Uh, I got involved around eight years old. I started um, in school, I think I was 16 or 17. Uh, I was around 10 or 11 and I was the only girl on the mixed team. And when did you start to focus on rugby exclusively? Uh, probably straight away. I grew up in a family where we weren't uh, that into GAA so pretty much rugby was my GAA club growing up. I was probably 18 when I made the decision to come into the sevens and exclusively just focus on rugby because um, it just wasn't sustainable to withhold doing two or three sports at the time. Raven? Uh, when I was 16, when I was pulled onto this team actually, that's when I sort of put the head down and stuck with rugby full time. Okay, thanks for that. Ava, do you have your first question ready? Uh, yeah. Eve, who were your rugby role models growing up? When I first started playing rugby, I was scrum half, so I looked up to uh, the likes of Tanya Rosser. And I always watched her play and then obviously Fee Coughlin and stuff, captain, and it was great seeing them uh, play when I could. And who were your biggest influences? Um, I'd have to say my parents. Um, my dad would drop me down to the games. We'd go and watch the women play whenever they, we could. Uh, and then mum and dad dropping me down to club training every weekend and bringing me across uh, Leinster and stuff to play games. So uh, yeah, definitely my parents would be. So we had the Women's Rugby World Cup even in Ireland in 2017 and we saw some of the biggest superstars in the game play. Do you think there is more opportunities now for young girls to get involved in rugby than when you started out? Yeah, absolutely. Like now we can see female role models in the limelight and that gives young girls someone to look up to and someone to aspire to. Bevan, I heard your dad told you to play like a kid. What did that mean to you? I suppose that meant just to play with a smile on your face and to be able to, you know, go out onto the pitch and express yourself, you know, like a kid does. You don't think too far ahead, just at the challenge right in front of you. Uh, thank you, Baven. <laughs> so Stacey, you played Gaelic football with Dublin and Clonagale Fontenoy, and then you played soccer with Cambridge girls before focusing on rugby. What were the skills that you found were transferable from sport to sport? And would you encourage girls to play an array of sports when they're developing? Oh, definitely. I definitely encourage girls to play all sports and figure out what suits them and what they like. And just the amount of girls and other people you get to meet and play with, it's just great. Uh, this question is for all of you. What advice would you give a young player like me? I'd say to enjoy, enjoy the sport. Rugby is great to get involved because you meet so many friends. I would say always make sure you're enjoying it and enjoying the journey because the journey that sport and rugby can take you on is amazing. Just make sure that you're enjoying it, mm -hmm. staying connected with your friends and really loving going out and playing. I really appreciate you taking the time and answering all our questions. So Ava, are you looking forward to getting out on the pitch and playing some rugby? Yeah.